Bouncing first in the middle corner by way of Brooklyn, the man. And he's up on the cross the way. Carrying out Manchester. Crusher. Dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Well, get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. You know, when we sat down with him yesterday before this fight, he was raving about the development that he's been making in the gym, specifically the hook to the body. And you know, it's not an accident, Joe. Because the old timers used to tell me, show me the style of a fighter, and I'll tell you what kind of person that is. I'll tell you something about his personality. And a guy who likes to go to the body, well, he's a guy that likes to work. He's a workman. He's a guy who's not afraid to be around some round. Good block by Crusher. Crusher's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Targeting that overhand left. So he decides to go downstairs early on. And I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Rusher's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. The man's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Solid left hand to the head. Rusher's really in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Get after him! Here we go. Round two is underway. Little head hunting with the left. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Now that's offense by the man. And he returns on that exchange. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Halfway through round number two. Man's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Man's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Don't walk into his punches. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Rusher's going with the free, Teddy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, not just be overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing punches, but placing the punches, strategically putting them in the right spots. Good job. 
The man's combination punching is working well here. Back to the box. Good looking uppercut that time. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Crusher. Goes up top with a right hand. The man's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He scored well up top. The man's right hand scores well that time. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Come on! The man's right hand scores well. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Crusher. The man's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Rusher's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. The man's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Hits him in the mug with the right. The man's defense is paying off now. Crusher's impressing the judges and himself with that right. Hand. Hasn't been a lot of distinct action so far that would give anybody a commanding lead in this fight. Although on Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he is up a round after three rounds. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. A little volume punching to the body there. uppercut by the man. Rushers fighting real smart here on the outside. Boxing 101. Jab, followed by the straight. Keep your back up. Wow, what an uppercut. Side to side. to know that things can't continue like this these middle rounds have not been what he's wanted them to be he thought he was going to do a heck of a job on the inside but he's not hey you know you mentioned something very very interesting you said he's got to know yeah he knows that he's got to be on the inside but maybe he doesn't want to be you know it takes discipline maybe he's taking it to Safeway the easy way even though that means he's gonna lose he doesn't have enough discipline to win Combination by Crusher. Nice work, the left hand to the head. I shake it off. The man's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. Watch the hook. Zoning in with the overhand left. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the man. Rusher is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Halfway into round number five here. It's okay, let's go. 
Jones. Rusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. The man's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand Move is costing him. He continues nice. to pull straight nice. back, and he's still in the path of the punch. the left hand by Crusher. He scored well after being hit himself. Crusher's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Teddy making predictions in boxing. The start of the sixth round. Rusher's dominance in the first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's being that he's got such a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a lull now, he could blow that first half of the fight, what he's done so well. The man's wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy's poor kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Jab with the straight, classic combination. Harry brings the jab right hand. Here in these later rounds, clean punching by Crusher. And that's because he's in control on both sides. What I mean by that is offensively getting off first, but defensively, he's making a miss too and throwing it right back at him. Crusher's doing well here with that two-punch combination. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other nice and smooth. Showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Good flush shot upstairs. The man's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Good fundamental work. Landing the one-two there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Crushers on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Now look at him. He does not. Solid. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. 
Crusher's got a real knack for infighting, and right now he's getting an invitation to do as he pleases in these middle rounds. Yeah, he's not hesitating. Yes, and he's not hesitating. He's RSVP, and right away he's saying, okay, I'll take you up on that invite. And that does it for this As round. we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard, and it is much the same. All these rounds now starting to just blur together. They're taking the same exact form, one guy dominating the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not going to change. All the emphasis, all the burden now is on the opponent. He's got to change something. Accurate jab brings the right hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the man. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. The man's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Get inside! Get inside! There you go! Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Oh, what a whiff by Crusher. The man's showing us a side that we haven't seen before, and obviously the knockdown brought that about. Yes, it did, and he's hoping that right now that it confuses the opponent. Don't be so sure he's going to stay with this, Joe. He might just be doing it for a diversion tactic. You know, just to survive right now, maybe buy him a little bit of time, confuse his opponent, keep his opponent at bay, and then go back to what he knows best. We'll look out for that. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Scored well up top. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the man. Come on, give both of And we come to the he end. Can get him now is himself. I mean, his opponent has shown that he has no answers for anything. What I mean by himself is if he gets a little overconfident, a little careless. Circle, circle! The man's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. You need to keep that head moving. Good exchange. He fires back. Able to dismiss that body shot. Putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Rusher's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Scores up top with a left. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He just missed that shot up top. Rushers really bringing a lot with that uppercut, Teddy. How much of a factor is the lower body in bringing the power behind that punch? Well, that's a good question. That's everything. You ever watch Tiger Woods when he's hit the golf ball? You know, he just drives his lower body through that ball. Well, it's the same thing. Your lower body, your hips, you rotate them, and you just drive that lower body up into your punch. South Paul counters back with the overhand left. Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean... If you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health.